Uh, I think uh, we got to simplify a little bit. I think uh, we just got to be a little bit more uh, simple with the puck, uh, get it in their end, try to get some shots, um, and just cleaner on the breakout. I think is the biggest thing. You found the back room that two last game. What has that line been feeling like and clicking like for you so far this season? Which line, sir? The one that just you know the chemistry that you have on your line. Oh, uh, it was good. Yeah, first time playing with uh, together, so uh, it was good. They uh, fish and uh, Clemmy both work really hard, and um, you know it's just about us being strong in the puck and um, you know holding on to it down there because um, you know we're big guys. So um, it was probably a, a good back half for us. I think everyone was kind of running around for that first half, but a uh, good back half of that that last game. You guys seem to be really effective at both line. Newsy kept pushing out there during that game. What the aspect of being like the energy line or the physical line that goes out there in a game like that? Do you feel that responsibility, or can you describe what that responsibility is to you? Yeah, I think uh, I mean it's pretty self-explanatory. We're all uh, big guys, and um, I think that's just kind of how we play. So I uh, just got to stay with with how we play and uh, provide that for the team. How have you seen your game evolve in that respect over the past few years? Yeah, I think uh, it's part of my game. I'm a big guy, so um, just try to get in there on the four check and um, hang on to it best I can. We still got to continue to get better at that and um, you know, just keep going with, uh, with it. If you've talked about it once, you've talked about it a million times, but the going from wing to center situation, but that was really your first time doing it this season, I yeah. think. Um, yeah. Did that take any time for you to adjust to again or did it did it change anything for you? Uh, not too much. Uh, a little bit on face offs. It's uh, when you're not taking taking draws consistently it's uh, uh, hard on the timing sometimes but otherwise positionally uh, is all good. Same lineup nobody's nobody's missing today or uh, no we're gonna go uh, Ghost will be out so he'll be the odd man out uh, on the D and then Zarnik will be back in for Fabs. Uh, I want to give Fabs a little more time. Um, obviously, um, to get a little more time to get up to speed. With the, I saw you had Zarnik with Cop and Comfer. Is that because you want to keep that, that uh, yep. the other line intact? Maybe then? keep that line intact, but just we'll, we might move some things around like we did in that third period. I just like having Zarnik as versatile. Um, there's games like the other night, probably was looking for some line changes, give a pop. And sometimes to do that, we might want to elevate Valeno, we might want to elevate Ras. Just I like having that extra center around. So we'll, we'll, we'll start there, we'll see how the game plays out. And with the Ghost, it just kind of has turned to his rotation. Kind of, yeah. I think uh, for him, maybe a little reset. Um, not a strong game from the other day, but at the same time, if you take the his body of work for the year, he's been excellent for us. So, uh, with a little slip in his game, uh, the luxury of having seven quality D that we're all comfortable with, uh, a little breather, time to watch one. Would expect it back in. Uh, Is that a little bit more from the defensive end, or well, then the power play yes. was over six? Yes, yeah, yeah. Know. obviously. Uh, drives the power play when it was going well. It was a big part of it. Yes, a little bit on the defensive end, too. Is, uh, you look at Zarnik, what are some of the things that... Has he done what you expected? Or is there something yes. he's done separately that maybe has... No, you know, he, he plays fast. He's a smart player. Um, he just He's reliable. We could play in the wing. Uh, you see, we've, we've killed him at times. We could use him on the power play. He's just he's a very valuable player for us. We like him, obviously, how we used him of late. Um, we moved two years. He's a very reliable player. You, having coached in the AHL before, he's kind of in that class of players who guys who, if he's in Grand Rapids, he's doing one thing if he's here. I, I feel like sometimes we don't realize how difficult yeah. that is to kind of have to be able to switch those mentalities. Yeah, yeah he may not be the perfect example yeah. of that yeah. because I think he's just reliable. He goes like Bergeron could yeah. be an example of that where, you know, obviously he's a top lean scorer in that team. Um, he's able to produce probably at a point of game clip uh, and there's nights like the one call he had here he was in a, a, a different situation so there is something to that for sure. Cop with the goals in back to back games uh, what's he brought to that forward group this season? Who's that? Cop. Uh, good I just I like the fact he's finished but some of his best hockey is when he's not on the score sheet and even the other night he probably reflected our team I, I appreciate that he finished to get us to 5-3 there in a situation where we get our goalie out, but um, 
there's some other areas of his game like the rest of us. So um, the, his best hockey is his 200 foot game. You've been saying that you have seven good defensemen on the NHL. I'm just curious to know earlier in the season when you need to talk to Jeff Petrie and telling him you're not playing tonight. What was the reaction of Jeff? They're great. Well, it was Jeff had an upper body that took him out for most of his uh, scratches. Uh, but we communicated the best we could, and we basically went through a th three to four D rotation. So it was basically it was his turn. So it was a pretty easy conversation. He's a pro, and obviously we're just getting his career. Uh, I think he probably took it as a positive uh, to give his body a night off. Uh, so yes, he was he was he was excellent. How can you describe the transition for him going a few years from Montreal to Detroit? Now he's playing with Charlotte, so it might be a phase yep. that he knows. So how can you describe? The I just think that's experience. He's a pro. He, I think you get to a point in your career, you've kind of seen and done everything. And I think, you know, that's where he was at. He's been a really good addition for us in the room. And obviously, he's brought us some offense. So, uh, uh, he's brought us a very complete game, too. So, uh, real nice addition for us. You talk a lot about starts each of the last six games. You've been down at least 2 nothing. You might like some of those first, but yes. you're still trailing. Can you just describe how tough it is to chase games in this league and how it's you can get around it's, that? It's impossible. And, um, we've you know, just we took a little deeper dive. Um, we've been outscored 7 1 in the first period of those last six games. Uh, and the seven, obviously, is not awful. It's the, the one that's just puts you in a hole. Now, with that said, you know, you look back, the underlying numbers, they're there. Um, it's probably even hockey, but it's still something to. Uh, being able to finish, so you know, we'll address it. We'll talk about it. Just in getting to that simple game, and I mean, I keep referring back to that Ranger game. Again, we go out of that period. I mean, you were there, you felt it. We come out of that period down one nothing, but the underlying, they, we might only get one chance. But just the momentum, the zone time they had, the, the, <laughs> the battles they were winning, it felt like we got it taken to us, and sometimes just. There's something to that momentum of just simplifying your game, not spending time in your zone. I, I would like to see us get try to get to that tonight. Now you're at the top of the league in third period goals. What what do you see from your team late in the games? They hang in there. There's a there's a there's a good belief in our room. Uh, I mean, we're confident we can win every night. I think we're also realistic that it takes a really good game for us to be successful in this league. Uh, we still don't have the type of firepower or talent that can sleepwalk through a game. Uh, but I think our guys just said they hang in there. It's a good sign. When you talk about finishing, you guys have hit a lot of posts up with like the top third in the league. Is that something where you use that to ignore it and say we're still doing the right thing? Is it something where there is like, I'm just, when you yeah, look at that. Yeah, that's a good then, question. I mean, I mean, I mean that's the first I've <laughs> even known about the, the post. Uh, you know, I think you just trust getting looks. And again, we kind of judge ourselves and the territorial part of it, the chances for, chances against, we're right in the middle of the league. Um, we just saw a stat where we're ninth in the league giving up um, great A's, which is good, which is positive. You know, we get a lot of B's. So, again, the, the underlying numbers are probably exactly where we're at. We're a 7 5 and 1 team, with some ups and downs in our play, um, probably some reality to there, but we'd love to start trying to get above it a little bit. So, I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't really know the post. You're, you're coaching against someone who has a different coaching background than you. I'm curious, as what are some of the things that might come from his background that you would have had to kind of add to yours and maybe on the flip side? Yeah, I, just, I just think there's huge value in playing in this league. Mm -hmm. um, and I think there's some real experiences. Man, I, mean, I, I, I tap into four years of my college hockey experiences at times. I can, you know, can just imagine a career like Marty had. So I just think there's some truth to that. There's some reality. Um, I know I lean on Boogs and Tangs a ton. So I just think it's a little different perspective, you know, kind of been there, done that. Uh, obviously, I'm a career coach, so it's a little different in some ways. When you look at the video, what do you see about Montreal? I mean, the rush team, man. They, they just, they, it's, it's them last year, too. I think eight of their last 13 goals were in the rush. If you give that high end talent uh, looks, easy offense, you turn the puck over, you fuel their, their rush, it's going to be a long night. Uh, it's one thing to get rushes, these guys. Can finish off rushes. Did you find out if you get to bring 